Good evening, everyone. My name is Spencer Blaker. My name is David Mead. So the question that I have for you tonight is, how many of you subscribe to a daily newsletter? Whether that's Playbook or Washington Post Daily 202, you know, any of these numbers, The Skim, Wall Street Journal, any of those. A lot of people, right? This is Washington. That's something that we all do. And it's because we like our time. Sure thing. So <clears throat> we read a lot of political news. On, on this phone, I've got two or three aggregators of news. In my feed inbox every day, I get about four different news blurbs. Um, I feel like I spend most of my time actually deleting the emails as opposed to reading through the news. And that's just a huge waste of time. Well, and you know, Dave, that's actually a real fact. The average American spends 444 minutes a day looking at screens outside of their office. That's ridiculous, and that's wasted time. Our time is valuable in Washington. We get that. There's a reason why we're in a place like this on a night like tonight, you know? It's not just because we like to sit around and listen to people talk. We consider our time valuable. And so every second counts. And with that, we believe that we can aggregate RSS feeds and Twitter feeds similar to the way the Bleacher Report does it for sports. Politics can be streamlined. You can have a one-stop shop to have all this information available to all of your viewers, readers, listeners, whatever it may be. And all this information can be compiled and you can be used. By having it synthesized in one spot, we can develop storylines. I visualize this being essentially a red team versus a blue team. You can have these different ideas coming forward. It can be all streamlined in the sense that storylines can start to emerge. And you can catch up. You can follow back looking at all these different sources, identifying what's being said, who's it being said by. On an average day in news these days, there's 12 to 15 storylines, 12 to 15 different topics that are going to come up in a single day. In the world of Donald Trump, it's impossible to keep up. So this is why we have all in one place. So tonight, this is what we're coming for. So you should be able to read through the day of the news like you read through a screenplay. You compare back and forth what happened on one side and on the next. Maybe you're not looking for the truth, but you're looking for two sides, or three sides, or whatever it might be that you want to compare. And what we propose is to take all the different sources that you're reading through, all the different blurbs, Wall Street Journal and HuffPost, whatever it may be for you, uh, and have them all in one place. So that you don't spend more your time deleting emails, you don't spend your time flipping through notifications, but you have an app that provides a ticker. It's an of the day. Uh, and so our ask is for second confidence. We have content, we have the vision, we need the people to build out with us an application and a website. Uh, we need a front-end designer and, a UX, or, and uh, an Apple and Android designer. So if anyone is interested in this idea, please come forward, please come talk to us, uh, and we're looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 